Hello everyone. My name is Karthik Vijay Raghavan and I'm a Document DB Specialist Solutions Architect with AWS. Amazon Document DB is a fast, scalable, fully managed MongoDB compatible database service. In today's video, I'll show you how to integrate Amazon Document DB with AWS Secrets Manager. AWS Secrets Manager helps to protect secrets needed to access applications, services, and other IT resources. Secrets Manager enables you to easily rotate, manage, and retrieve credentials. Your applications will make an API call to Secrets Manager to retrieve the credentials from the target service. In our example today, it's going to be Document DB. By integrating with Secrets Manager, you can encapsulate credentials from your application. Also, just with a few clicks, you can configure Secrets Manager to rotate your credentials periodically. Let's take a look at the demo to see how all of this works together. Okay, so I'm here at the AWS Management Console for Document DB. I have two clusters called Demo and Getting Started with Document DB in the Northern Virginia region. I'm going to be using this cluster called Demo to integrate with Secrets Manager. So let's go to Secrets Manager and say Store a New Secret. And I'm going to select this option called Credentials for Document DB Database. And I'm going to give the username. So I'm going to go into my Document DB cluster, the Demo cluster. And I'm going to copy the username from here and I'm going to use that over here and then I'm going to give the password for this uh, user and I'm going to select the cluster that I'm integrating now so I'm going to select the demo cluster and I'm going to say next over here I'll give a secrets name uh, for this particular secret. Now this secret name is the one that uh, my application would be using to interact with uh, document DB. So I'm going to call that as app slash document DB slash demo. And I can give uh, a free flow description here saying that this is secrets for demo cluster. Now, when I scroll down, I'm going to leave everything else as default. I'm going to go next. For now, I'm going to leave the uh, rotation, uh, automatic rotation of credentials disabled. We'll come back and enable this in a bit. And then I'm going to say next, and I'll get an option to review. I'm going to review all of this. And I also get a chance to review the source code. So Secrets Manager uh, you know, creates a source code for various uh, languages and here for I'm going to be using Python so I'll be using this particular source code in my application when I connect to document DB so I'll, I will come back to the source code in a bit I'm going to say store and as you can see now we have created a secret called app slash document DB slash demo the next step is to use the secret in an application uh, to retrieve the credentials so I have an EC2 instance that I have pre-created here and to this EC2 instance, I've attached an IAM role called Secrets Manager Reader. If I go into the Secrets Manager Reader, you can see that I have a policy attached to this role called Secrets Manager Read Only Policy. And when we look into the Secrets Manager Read Only Policy, all that it does is it allows Secrets Manager get secret value action for all secrets. So basically what we've done here is we've, we have enabled our EC2 instance to talk to Secrets Manager, uh, especially make the get secret value call so that it can retrieve the secret from Secrets Manager and then connect to Document DB. So now let me SSH into the C, uh, EC2 instance that I have created. And uh, as you can see here, I have a couple of Python files. The sample app.py is the main uh, Python app and the secretsmanager.py is the same source code that Secrets Manager gave me when I created the secret app slash document db slash demo the region and all that stuff so if, if you go here click on this and go into Python 3 this is this source code and what you see here are, are exactly the same now if, if I look into my sample app.py all that the sample app does is calls the get secret function, uh, which is uh, in the secrets manager.py. And uh, here is a get secrets function. And it, it gets the secrets. And then when, when I'm creating my client, uh, I'm using that secrets. So I'm using the host, port, username, and password are all retrieved from secrets manager. So now if I run this application, like Python 3 sample app, you can see that this application 
got the secrets from Secrets Manager, created an instance of the client, and then inserted a record into Document DB and read that record successfully and printed that record, which is X uh, uh, Document DB as a document. So that's again a very simple example of how you can integrate uh, AWS Secrets Manager with Amazon Document DB. Now, if you want to rotate credentials, if you recall when I created this uh, uh, secret, I disabled uh, the rotation. But you know, for, for some enterprises or most of the enterprises that I've seen have requirements to uh, rotate the credentials periodically. So if you want to do that, you can just say edit, the enable rotation. And what is that period? Do you want to rotate it every 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days? I'm just going to say 30 days, and I'm going to say create a Lambda function, right? And I can give this Lambda function a name. We are going to say rotate document DB demo cred. So I'm just going to give this name, and I'm going to save it. Uh, so when I do this, it takes about a couple minutes to create uh, cloud formation resources for this Lambda function, and that this Lambda function will automatically handle rotation of the credentials for you so that you don't have to worry about you know rotating the credentials manually. Okay, now the Lambda function has been created and you get this message called secret successfully scheduled for rotation. Uh, and if you go over here, you can uh, see uh, you know that, that the, the C rotation status is now enabled. I'm gonna explicitly rotate a secret so that it's not gonna be the same password that I used before. So I'm gonna say rotate, and you see this message, this secret will be rotated immediately and the rotation schedule will be reset. So uh, let's click on this. So we now know that the password has changed or the password has been rotated. So now let me go back to my EC2 instance here and uh, let me rerun the Python application. I'm not making any changes to my EC2 instance and you can see that even though the credentials has been rotated at runtime, since we are making the get secrets call uh, over here, this is calling uh, Secrets Manager to get the new secret, and uh, you know that is passed to the client now, and I'm able to successfully connect to my document DB cluster and insert a record again. So that brings us to the end of today's demo. To summarize, I showed you how to store a secret for document DB in AWS Secrets Manager. I then showed you how you can access the secret using a Python application. I also showed you how to configure AWS Secrets Manager to rotate your credentials and how rotating credentials does not require your applications to make any changes. I hope you learned how Amazon document DB and AWS Secrets Manager integrates. I want to thank you for your time and attention today. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.